Hey guys, Dan here with LED Farby and TRV Parts, and uh, I want to do a video that would be a great help uh, to you if you're uh, potentially planning on uh, changing out or upgrading your uh, teardrop lights um, from on an Airstream trailer. Now, my hope is to do a video that basically withstands the test of time that will be backwards compatible to older units as well as anything going forward. And uh, as complicated as uh, finding what part goes on some airstreams, I know you're probably saying, good luck with that. Now, to begin with, airstreams started using the incandescent. Um, and uh, you'll notice that um, uh, the shape of the uh, the red one there, it's kind of a, a got a curved shape. Now, this shape allowed it to fit on the uh, upper panels as well as on the side panels. Uh, and it looked fairly well. You notice the gasket underneath it? And when they upgraded to LED, um, they still stay with that contour shape. You can kind of see it there. Uh, and, and originally, the first couple of years, they had a gasket that was nowhere near as thick as this. Uh, and essentially, um, uh, you know, that uh, plastic came in contact with the shell and it caused problems. I'm going to make a statement here that's going to withstand the test of time. And it's also going to apply to backwards compatible uh, upgrades and that type of thing is that uh, if you're going to install one of these uh, lights that you are always going to want to have the gasket uh, in place to the point where it, uh, this plastic does not come in contact with your aluminum panels. Now if it's being mounted on a uh, a, lo a cast aluminum like on the side that's a different story that's a different deal but um, you're always going to want this gasket or a gasket that keeps the plastic off of the aluminum panels regardless to how old or how new the unit is. The next light I want to cover uh, is an amber one uh, that goes on the side and it has a straight bezel. Uh, it actually comes with no gasket at all uh, and essentially that is uh, a three wire a light and that's a running and a turn. Uh, so it's on the uh, on, used on the longer units and that thing starts blinking and that lets the uh, guy beside you know that you want to uh, change lanes. Uh, and essentially that's a three wire system. Now the way that you could figure out if that's what this is or not without taking it off and seeing that you have three wires is to cut your turn signal on with, while your running lights are on. If it starts blinking that's a three wire and this is the one you'd need. Now it does not come with a gasket and if it's mounted on a casting you don't need one. However, if you're uh, mounting this three wire light on the side of an Airstream like an Airstream sheet and it does not have a uh, casting uh, then you're definitely going to want to use the gasket. Now the last two I'm going to cover uh, are the red and the amber uh, and both of them come with a, uh, with a straight bezel and neither of them come with a, a gasket so if you're mounting it on a backwards uh, compatible unit or that type of thing and it's going straight to the shell you will need to get uh, a gasket but if it's on a casting then of course uh, just like it is uh, it is the way you'd mount it. Now here's a crude map of the top of an Airstream and basically where these lights go um, now do keep in mind that uh, this is a backwards compatible and a forward compatible uh, idea or a concept. So in other words, if you've got an older Airstream and you wanted to upgrade to LED lights, you can rest assured there's not a manual on this. So this uh, idea or concept is a good place to get started um, so that you could have a successful uh, upgrade and change out. If you're wondering why we're, I'm using the SKUs for our company and not the uh, Airstream uh, numbers is because that overhead amber uh, is not something that Airstream has. Uh, that is made by the same company that Airstream gets it from, uh, but Airstream has never put LEDs on the front of a unit on the top uh, in that curved uh, shape. Well, thank you for taking time to watch our video. Uh, as always, feedback and comments are welcome. Uh, if you've got any questions, uh, please email me at dan at led4rv.com. Also, if you find something that's not necessarily uh, uh, lining up with this idea or concept, I'd sure love to hear it. 